Here. 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 We are strong and of good courage because you are our defender. We pray that you will continue to bless our city and this city commission. Help us to do your will. Forgive us when we fall short. And all praise and glory we'll give to you. Amen. Amen. Please join me in flag salute, attention, position, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you. If you were at the last meeting, uh, you, you are aware we've moved the citizens' participation up to the first item. If you were not at the last meeting, then you may not be aware, but it is now item number one, citizens' participation. This is the time during the meeting where you can come to the podium. Please tell us who you are, sign in, and you have three minutes to speak your piece. We have a three-minute limit and a 12-minute per subject limit, so if there's someone here that would like to speak to the commissioners, uh, now would be the time. Going, going, gone. Thank you. Item two, consider approval of the consent agenda. Would any of the commissioners like to pull any item from the consent agenda? Seeing, we approve. Uh, moved by Commissioner Hare to approve Second. the consent agenda. Seconded by Commissioner Bolt. Mm. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 3, presentation by animal control. Do we have a pet? I didn't see a pet out there. Do we have a pet? Oh, we got a little pet. Pocket pet. It's the first time. Smile. Okay. I'm Officer Couch to Animal Welfare. This little guy here is a boy come to us last Thursday with the owner surrender. We have named him Pee Wee. He's a black and white domestic short hair cat. And he is scared to death right now. How do you feel? All right. Thank Great. You. Thanks. If anybody's interested, contact Animal Control. Item four, presentation of FEMA Advanced Professional Ser Ser Series Certificate of achievement to Matt Miller by Shemeca Mack from the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. Mayor, Commissioners, good evening. Uh, pleased to introduce you to Shemeca Mack, who is our regional coordinator, the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. She's here to present, uh, as you said, the certificate of completion for FEMA's advanced professional series, like. Uh, the other emergency services, we have a national academy. FEMA's academy is in Emmitsburg, Maryland. And Matt's done a, a great job of working through these courses and, and really has distinguished himself uh, amongst uh, emergency managers in Oklahoma. There are very few people who uh, complete this series, and, and he's done a good job and represented the city well in doing this. And so uh, I'm pleased to introduce uh, Shimika to come up and present the certificate to Matt. Right, well, good evening, everybody. Um, before I do this, I would like to take a moment just to share with you guys. The first time that I met Matt, I want to say it was probably over a year ago, and I was so absolutely amazed by his planning skills. It was a couple of projects that he was working on, if I remember correctly, it was the hazard mitigation plan, and it was just absolutely impressive. Um, not only that, but his, just, uh, his eye for detail and his passion for emergency management. So I just wanted to take a moment because that left a mark on me and just share that. Um, having said that, you ready, Matt? So it is my honor on behalf of the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management to present you with this Certificate of Achievement. And it reads, the certificate is awarded to Matthew R. Miller for successfully completing the Emergency Management Institute Advanced Professional Series Training, awarded this 25th day of March 2019. So congratulations, Matt. Thank you.
Thank you, Mayor. Congratulations, Mayor. Yes. Item five, ratification of final contract with Global Spectrum, DBA Spectra, for management services at the Heart of Oklahoma Exposition Center. Mr. Mayor, Commissioners, I'm very pleased to present to you tonight the final contract, which has been examined by you previously, and I apologize for the last minute delivery today, but we had uh, several circles we had to conclude today with Spectra, all of which were concluded to our satisfaction. The uh, questions that you uh, developed in our last discussion have all been addressed. Your concerns have been uh, ameliorated. They've done everything we ask. I'm very pleased to present this contract for approval. Thank you. Any questions of Eric? Would entertain a motion to deal. approve. Yeah, so moved. moved by Commissioner Bolt. Is there second. a second by Commissioner Seahorn? Any further discussion? Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 6, consideration of the following budget amendments at items 6A <coughs> through 6... L. Mayor and Commissioners, we have uh, a whole slew of budget amendments. This is a result of our end of the year budget monitoring process. Uh, Ashley and I went through each one of our funds and reviewed our estimated revenues uh, against our actuals from, from what we had originally budgeted and then the same with expenditures. So we wanted to look at uh, all of our appropriations that we originally appropriated in the budgets or what were amended uh, and compared to actual expenditures. Um, so it's to ensure that we didn't uh, go over any of our uh, budgeted appropriations. We uh, brought these budget amendments before you all uh, so that funds are spent within our legal uh, uh, rights as you guys have uh, afforded to us uh, properly. Now I will make one note, uh, the general fund, Fund 001, you guys have handouts in front of you today. We discovered a couple of uh, errors in that, in the original publication of that budget amendment. Uh, we had an account code error, and then we also had a, a couple errors on our transfers to other funds and from the general fund and to the general fund. So we wanted to shore those up to ensure that we were in balance with all the other funds. There it is. Any, any questions of chance? Moved by Commissioner Herod to approve. Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Are any of the any of the commissioners would like to pull out any of items A through L? Seeing none. Uh, is there any further discussion? Call the question. Motion carries six zero. Item seven. Consider approval of fiscal year budget 2019-2020 budget. Commissioners, uh, this budget uh, that was attached to the agenda today is the budget to form that complies with the Munic Municipal Budget Act. Uh, we have a budget message, a budget summary, uh, and fund budgets for each one of the appropriated uh, funds uh, that you guys are appropriating for us to uh, spend from for fiscal year 2020. Uh, there's no significant changes to the budget that was presented last week uh, during the public hearing. Uh, if you have any questions on the budget, uh, to form, we can. I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions of chance? I have a question, Mr. Mayor. Would you consider this budget balanced? It is absolutely balanced. Say that again. It is absolutely balanced. Oh, that's <laughs> like you're <to> say it. <laughs> yeah. Good job. It's a nice sound. It is a nice sound. Is there a motion to adopt the budget? <coughs> Moved. Moved by Commissioner Gillum. Second. Second by Commissioner Herod. <clears throat> Further discussion? Mr. Mayor, I, I would like to add that I, I applaud Chance and Ashley for their diligent work on this budget. I know what is an incredibly complex effort is made to look simple, but the simplicity lies in their many nights of, at past midnight here in the last three weeks to complete this effort. I'm, I'm very, very proud of their effort. Thank you. Good job, Chance. Good job. Good job. Good Where's job. Ashley? Is she here? She's back there. Good job. <laughs> Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 8, consider a resolution adopting the budget for the City of Shawnee for the period of July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020. Finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of the budget. Commissioners, this is simply the resolution uh, appropriating each one of the funds uh, as per the budget document in the previous uh, item. 
Commissioner Hare moved to adopt. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Seahorn. Is there any further discussion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A resolution approving and adopting the budget for the City of Shawnee, Oklahoma for the period July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020, finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of said budget. Thank you. Any further discussion? Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 9, consideration of a resolution of the City of Shawnee nominating Tamara Johnson as a candidate to fill an open position on the Board of Trustees of the Oklahoma Municipal Retirement Fund, representing District 4 for a five-year term beginning October 1, 2019 through October 1, 2024. Mr. Mayor, Commissioners, we have uh, we seek your support for two representatives of the OKMRF OK Board. One is uh, Tammy Johnson, our former HR Director. Tammy's held this position in active capacity previously. Uh, we seek your support for both candidates. This is the first of two votes. Any questions of Eric? Is there a motion to approve Tammy? Moved by Commissioner Gillum. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A resolution of the City of Shawnee nominating Tamara Johnson as a candidate to fill an open position on the Board of Trustees of the Oklahoma Municipal Retirement Fund, representing District 4 for a five-year term beginning October 1, 2019 through October 1, 2024. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 10, consideration of a resolution of the City of Shawnee nominating Robert Johnston as a candidate to fill an open position on the Board of Trustees of the Oklahoma Municipal Retirement Fund representing the entire membership for a five-year term beginning October 1st, 2019 through October 1st, 2024. Uh, Robert is the, as I understand it, is the incumbent and has reached out to us for our support. Uh, I do not know him. Uh, Jody Cox has expressed uh, confidence in him, so uh, he, he will certainly have my support. I will nominate Robert Johnson. Moved by Commissioner Harrod. Second. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Gillum. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A resolution of the City of Shawnee nominating Robert Johnston as candidate to fill an open position on the Board of Trustees of the Oklahoma Municipal Retirement Fund, representing the entire membership for a five-year term beginning October 1st, 2019 through October 1st, 2024. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 11, consideration of a resolution establishing the Seniors Center Citizens of Shawnee Board for the City of Shawnee, setting forth various provisions and official duties. Good evening, Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, in front of you is a resolution uh, establishing a new board uh, at the Senior Center. Um, the old board has uh, decided to dissolve uh, and this comes as a result of uh, the old contract not being renewed uh, with the Senior Center Board and a new proposal uh, not being renegotiated. So uh, <clears throat> we have designed a new board, new operating board for that Senior Center, which will be in an advisory board uh, to you. It will consist of uh, nine members appointed by you, the City Commission, and it will have one City Commissioner on it. Uh, each member will serve a three-year term. Uh, the member qualifications in order to be on this board, this, this here adds another step further than what we've gone before uh, with either being uh, residents of the City of Shawnee or Pottawatomie County since that Senior Center does serve a lot of Pottawatomie County residents. Uh, also, business or property owners within the city are employed uh, within the city limits. Uh, it is... Uh, uh, like I said, the, the, all recommendations from this board will come back to you uh, as for approval. Uh, this board will also help uh, the center director with development of programs. Uh, they'll, they'll help uh, the director also go through those programs and figure out whether those programs are working or not, too. Um, so staff feels that this is a good step forward for the seniors and for the residents of the city of Shawnee. Um, we look forward to... Uh, 
having some fresh new beginnings at the senior center. Any questions of James? Uh, James, are these going to alternate or going to be uh, so that they all won't come up at one time? Or Yeah, uh, when we set those members, we will alternate some of those. So a couple of them uh, may serve only two terms or um, something like that. They'll be alternated so they all don't come up at one time. Yeah, I, uh, did you have an age, didn't you have an age limit on that? Uh, within that, we did move the age to 55 to sit on the board, yes. Any other questions? Would entertain a motion to approve. So moved by Commissioner Bolts, or second. Second. Second by Commissioner Seahorn. Any further discussion? Thank you, Mr. Mayor, a resolution establishing the senior citizens of Shawnee Board for the City of Shawnee, setting forth various provisions and official duties. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Uh, this board does have uh, one, of the, one of the commissioners as one of the seats. If, uh, if someone would like to sit on it, let me know. And uh, if any of the current members of the current board would like to serve uh, the application process, you can get the application that needs to be turned in to the city clerk and, uh, and we'll come back through here just like any other uh, committee of the City of Shawnee. Item 12, consideration appointment of a city commissioner to the senior citizens, well, the Shawnee Board. No one has expressed an interest openly to me. I will. Com yeah, in. I will. We have, we have two volunteers. Anyone sits up? I mean, it's not a big thing. I, I, was, I was willing to do it, but it's in James's ward, so I didn't want to. No, I've been talking to him I, first. I'm not volunteering. <laughs> many, many I'm not volunteering. You would like to do it? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to volunteer uh, Rutherford, but I don't think he's fit. Uh, he, he, uh, he, he, uh, he sent me a rather terse message about volunteering for anything in his absence. So I'm not going there. He's too much bigger than I am. So. Well, I don't want it to pass without me mentioning that he, is, uh, he agreed not to serve. <laughs> Com Commissioner Salter has expressed an interest in so doing, and the chair nominates Commissioner Salter as your second. Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. <laughs> Call the question. I didn't want to pass up the opportunity. To Motion <laughs> carries 6-0. I'll, I'll send Darren a, an email and tell him it, it, it too bad he got on there anyway. <laughs> 13, Please consideration of approval of a preliminary plat for Woodsong Edition Phase 3, a 27.99 acre property located <clears throat> east of North Harrison Avenue, west of North Bryan, and north of East 45th Street for the purpose of single family residential development case S0119, applicant Craft and Tolton. Mayor, Commissioners, um, this preliminary plat that's been submitted um, does meet all of our requirements under Article 8, Section 80.2. I will say we did have some citizen feedback from Phase 2 of Woodsong Edition expressing some drainage problems. As you know, we've had um, substantial <laughs> rainfall lately. Um, we did uh, go over Phase 3 of this uh, prelim plat design with them to let them know that most of the drainage of this property is going to go to the detention pond in the northwest corner of the property and the concern were coming from what would be adjacent to the northeast corner of the preliminary plat. Um, so I, I actually believe that their issues will get better as this development is um, getting underway and that detention is made available and of course they'll have to do silt fencing um, to deter runoff into that um, already developed phase of phase two. And with that, um, staff and planning commission recommend approval of the preliminary plat. Any questions of Rebecca? Not really. I imagine Marjorie. we have any drainage issues. We know about them now, don't we? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Were there some conditions on the, on the uh, approval? Um, the only condition was with the drainage issues in phase two that were mentioned, we asked that Kraft and Toll take those into consideration when doing the final calculations in the drainage um, design for the final plat, and which will also come back before you all. Any other questions? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Commissioner Bolts. Second. Second by Commissioner Gillum. 
Yes, you're back. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Item 14 public hearing and consideration of the ordinance to rezone property located at 604 East Anna Street from R1 single family residential to R2 combined residential for the purpose of a duplex. Case P0619 applicant ACOC properties. This is um, for the purpose of a duplex. There are R2 and R3 zonings that have been approved in this area, and it is in line with our currently adopted comprehensive plan. Staff and Planning Commission both recommend approval of this item. Any questions of Rebecca on this item? Would entertain a mo uh, let's see. And I would declare the public hearing open. If there's anyone here that would like to speak in favor of the proposal, come to the podium. Seeing none, is there anyone here that would like to speak in opposition to the proposal? None. Close the public hearing. Are there any questions from the board of Rebecca? Would entertain a motion to approve? So moved. moved by Commissioner Gillum. Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. An ordinance concerning the zoning classification of the following described property located within the corporate limits of the city of Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, to wit, lots five and six, block one, Keene's addition to the city of Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, according to the recorded plat thereof, from zoning classification R1, single family residential district, to R2, combined residential district, and amending the official zoning map of the city of Shawnee accordingly. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 15, public hearing and consideration of ordinance to rezone property located at 4900 North Harrison Avenue from C3 Highway Commercial to Commercial PUD Plan Unit Development for the purpose of commercial development. Case P0819, applicant TLP Associates, Inc. And this was deferred by the Planning Commission to the July 3rd meeting. That's correct. There were a lot of um, different pieces that came up because this is such a visible corridor of town. They're on the northwest corner of I-40 and North Harrison. Um, they have not submitted a preliminary plat, and the applicant and the commission both agreed it would be best if they came back at our next regular meeting to present both and work out some of those concerns. So I have nothing at this time. There a motion to defer our any action by us until after the planning commission has met and so moved by Commissioner Harris to Second. defer. Second by Commissioner Bolt. <coughs> Call the question. Motion carries six zero. Thank you. Item 16, discussion, consideration, and possible action to convey real estate owned by the city by entering into, signing, and acknowledging a certain proposed warranty deed between the city of Shawnee as grantor and the independent school district number 93 of Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, a.k.a. Shawnee Public Schools as grantee, specifically regarding the following property, a tract of land and improvements within the city of Shawnee, Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, described as follows, beginning at a point. 1,463.18 feet south of the northwest corner of the northwest quarter of section 13, township 10, north, range 3 east of the Indian Meridian, thence 400 feet, thence south 260 feet, thence west 400 feet, thence north 260 feet to the point of the beginning and containing 2.388 acres, more or less and also authorizing the mayor to sign, execute, and enter into said deed on behalf of the city of Shawnee. Mayor, commissioners, I know we all take great pride in the wonderful relationship we have with the Shawnee Public Schools, and this is one of those examples. Uh, some decades ago, this land was turned over to the, to the city. It is, in fact, uh, the tennis courts that are used exclusively by the high school tennis club. We have maintained this property uh, much not particularly in concert with the desires and the, and the means of the school system. So uh, Superintendent Grace and I sat down, decided uh, after a long discussion about how to best provide this service to the schools that we could simply deed it back to them for the same amount of money that they uh, we paid them when we originally received it, for one, the price of $1. This allows them by statute then to provide improvements and maintenance of the subject property. It's a, a superb exchange by both parties. Any questions? Where is this? The high school, high school tennis, tennis courts. courts. 
Okay. It should have appreciated to two dollars over all these decades. <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is that April is a tough negotiation. I understand. <laughs> Any questions of Eric about this? Would entertain a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Commissioner Harris. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Seahorn. Call a question. <coughs> motion carries 6-0. Administrative reports. Fire Chief Rodney Foster, this is your first report. I have to let you know we appreciate brevity. Sorry? I have to let you know we appreciate brevity. <laughs> <laughs> Being your first report. Uh, thank you uh, for your time, Mayor and Commissioners. Uh, the Shawnee Fire Department was recognized last week. Um, pretty special. I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of it. Come on in. Uh, Captain Todd Lester was in a, a attendance at a conference in Ponca City with the Oklahoma State Firefighter Association. They recognized your fire department for being a member of the OSFA for 100 years. So we thought that was pretty cool, and I want to make sure you guys were aware of that. There was There's about 900 fire departments in Oklahoma. There's about 90 that got this award, and 44 were actually in attendance. Very good. So thank you. Thank you, Rodney. James Price, Independence Day Parade and Celebration. Yeah, I just want to make sure that y'all are aware that the uh, 4th of July Parade is going to happen again this year. Uh, on July 4th, uh, the parade will start around 9.30 and start from Maine and Beard. Uh, the setup, uh, if some of y'all wanted to, uh, and we wanted to invite y'all to be in the parade, as some of y'all participated before. Uh, setup will start up at 8.30 uh, over on uh, the uh, parking lot at 7th and Beard. And uh, it will start off uh, from Main and Beard uh, at 9.30. If you want to walk, uh, we have been setting up at the First Baptist Church over on uh, Union Street, Union and 10th, for the walkers. Uh, I know that that you know some some can't walk very far so we try to make accommodations for those uh, but it'll all end up at the at the park at the veterans memorial and we will have a short ceremony there uh, with a speaker and then give away uh, free hot dogs i think they have 200 hot dogs to give away that day so great thank you what time do you say again Diane? uh setup will start at 8 30 at 7th and beard uh, the parade will start at 9 30. it'll go down main street to union and turn up and go Union to Highland. Uh, then I'll turn on Highland, go over to Broadway, and Broadway down to the Memorial, just like last year. Great. Thank you, James. Item 18, new business. Nothing to add, Mr. Mayor. Commissioner's comment. Let's go backwards, Ben, and we'll start with you. Well, I think there's a lot going on in Shawnee, and appreciate all of the the work that the finance department has done in putting the budget together. And there's been a lot of reading. I've done more reading in the last three weeks than I probably have in the last four years, and so appreciate that. Mark, uh, yeah, like Benny, the finance department did a really good job putting a good budget together and kind of getting us back and sound ground and kind of putting some money back uh specter contract has been long coming and lot, just like many lots to read uh, but uh excited about that and uh looks like the you know, it's going to be a good turnout for fourth of july we was talking about it didn't realize about that but uh, that's about it thank you i gonna say again i didn't want to be derelict in my duty to get uh Commissioner Rutherford another job, but uh, anyhow, he emailed me or texted me and told him I better not, so I guess I'll pass on that. What well, you know, I told him if you're absent, that meant that you were eligible to, to serve. Of course, I don't know if he's 55 years old or not. Is he? He's close. 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 Okay. Close. Uh, now, but I would say we, we reduced the age to 50. Oh yeah. I do, Chance. Will appreciate your work and uh, the, the young lady's work on the. Budget, James. Appreciate your work on the senior citizens deal, and uh, anyhow, moving right along. Thank you, Rob. You know, coming like fifth or sixth. Well, we'll be sixth, but fifth like this, it kind of changes things around. 
because everything now that I ever thought of saying in my life has already been said here. So I'm just going to pass and give Ed a chance. Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably echo a lot of the sentiments of the fellow commissioners. Uh, appreciate the the work that our finance group has done to get us in, in good shape. Uh, that's that's not easy. It's been a lot of hard work, and uh, I think things are really looking up. Um, Spectra contract to me is a very very exciting um, opportunity for the city. I think that really has a chance to put us in the big leagues, and I'm very excited about that. Uh, yeah, I think I think it'd be great. So um, let's see. This this weekend we've got um, Friday night got a block party down there at uh, Celebration of Life Park. Ought to be a lot of fun. And then uh, Saturday is the uh, Trail Days Festival. So uh, hopefully we get lots of folks out and the weather cooperates and we don't have a flood. That's all I I want to I want to give a big shout out to the staff uh, both. Uh, up and down the line. We've stand. worked through a number of items yeah, that are contentious. Yeah. We, the Spectre contract, the Nothing senior citizens yeah. thing, the budget, and I think all that comes with a lot of wear and tear on the staff. And, and you all have done really yeoman's work, and congratulations and my personal thanks. Uh, we're, we're entering a kind of a different atmosphere, and, uh, and I very much look forward to it. One other comment. The car show out at the Boy Scout Park is Saturday, too. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. You have about 300 cars out there, so it, it, it's pretty neat. If you've never been, you got to try to go. Is that the nice car show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the nicest. We are adjourned to the Shawnee Airport Authority. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Would entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Harris. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Item 2, budget amendment. Fund 511. Thank you, Mayor and Commissioners. <clears throat> uh, again, this budget amendment is a result of our budget monitoring process, as we discussed before, uh, for the governmental funds. Uh, this is in a revised edition from what was originally published with the agenda due to us catching some, some errors, and we included some other accounts and revenues that uh, we didn't anticipate in the original amendment. Any questions of chance? Is there a motion to approve? So moved. moved by Commissioner Second. Seahorn, second by Commissioner Gillum. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Item 3 consider approval of fiscal year 2019 2020 Shawnee Airport Authority budget. Mayor and Commissioners, thank you. The uh, Shawnee Airport Authority has an estimated revenue and appropriation this year of 841000 uh, That's a decrease from the previous year due to uh, some taxiway uh, improvements we did under some federal grants. Um, I would like to applaud Bonnie and her efforts this year. Uh, in past years, the, the general fund of the government has subsidized the Airport Authority uh, substantially, and through her uh, efficiencies of operations and increased fuel sales, uh, she has managed to whittle that down to uh, less than $10,000 from subsidy from the general fund in this anticipated budget. Uh, so we want to thank her for those efforts. Add a, been, add a girl. Good job. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how she gets that, those military helicopters out there. Is there any questions of chance about the budget? Would they entertain a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Commissioner Harrods. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Call the question. <coughs> Motion carries 6 0. Consideration of a resolution adopting the budget for Shawnee Airport Authority for the period of July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020, finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of the budget. Commissioners, thank you. This is our resolution to adopt the uh, said fiscal year 20 budget for the Airport Authority. So, so I guess. By Commissioner Gillum. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. A resolution approving and adopting the budget for Shawnee Airport Authority, Oklahoma, for the period July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020, finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of said budget. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Is there any new business? 
We are adjourned to the Shawnee Municipal Authority and would entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Gillum. Is there a second? Second. Second by Commissioner Bolt. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Budget Amendment Fund 501. Mayor and Commissioners, we'll do this one more time. <laughs> this is an amendment related to our budget monitoring process. Again, this is a revised copy uh, from what was originally published with the budget due to some changes in the estimated revenues and appropriations that we had originally anticipated. Any questions of chance? Is there a motion to adopt? We'll move. Okay. By Commissioner Seaborn. Second was <coughs> Commissioner Gillum. Call the question. Motion carries 6-0. Item 3, consider approval of fiscal year 2019-2020 Shawnee Municipal Authority <coughs> budget. Mayor and Commissioners, this is uh, into form uh, the same budget that we per uh, presented to you guys last week uh, during the budget hearing. Uh, there's been no significant changes to this from the original presentation. Would entertain a motion to adopt. So moved. Moved by Commissioner Harry. <coughs> Second by Commissioner Gillum. Call a question. <coughs> Motion carries 6 0. Item 4 consideration of a resolution adopting the budget for Shawnee Municipal Authority for the period of July 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2020. Finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of the budget. Mayor and Commissioners, this is the resolution to uh, approve the Shawnee Municipal, Municipal Authority budget for fiscal year 2020. Is there a motion to approve? Second. Moved by Commissioner Bolt, second by Commissioner Herod. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Resolution approving and adopting the budget for the Shawnee Municipal Authority, Oklahoma, for the period of July 1, 2019 through June 30, 2020. Finding all things requisite and necessary have been done in preparation and presentation of said budget. Thank you. Call the question. Motion carries 6 0. Is there any new business? No, there. We are adjourned. Thank you for attending. <laughs>